How did Jake get a door trim to go from this to this? While I was away in Tassie having a whale of a time, Jake was here sweating buckets in the shed over summer to fix that door trim. Uh, now in the initial video uh, where we just went around the whole 60 and talked about it, uh, you did see that this trim here was repaired. So let's go ahead and see how Jake managed uh, to re-trim a panel with no automotive upholstery experience. I am not a master of trim removal. And these trims are crusty like like something that's crusty where is it ah gotcha so we're just looking to pop those little clips out and we have damaged very little of them which is unusual. Usually before you would start popping the interior clips out, buy yourself a set, a kit of interior clips. But that has gone very nicely. That's ready to take off. And just unclip that there. There we have it. One removed door trim that also needs a bit of attention. Let's have a look at the door here. What do we got? This is your classic where instead of adding spaces, which is very easy, they've cut the metal to fit the speaker magnet, or well, the back of the speaker, which is the magnet, and the enclosure into there. No rust protection has been done self-tapping screws straight into the metal it's, n it's not ideal for a car that you want to last for a very long time so we're going to fix that so the door card is looking a bit worse for wear it's warped it's water damaged it's faded it's peeled so for a few bob here and there, picked up some more vinyl. It's close enough to the color I want. Picked up some plastic that I'm going to use instead of the MDF. And what I love is that the door card is made flat. So I can strip that and use it as a template and make it out of plastic. It'll make it waterproof, stronger, basic. So that's the original colour. I reckon that's cleanable. First we'll try and take it off. Okay guys, go and make a cup of tea. It's gonna be a while. seems the staples were just used to hurry up the to hold it in place while the glue dried because they really are not much <coughs> smells like feet There's nothing wrong with the shape of this. 
So I might just run some new foam over it. I don't have any. So I'm going to have to go for a closed cell foam this time because that's the smart option. This open cell foam, it's, it's not as tough and it just gets full of nasty stuff. Nice bit of cutting out, it's gone quite well. So these are fitting in there nice and snug. So that's perfect. Gonna go around and do all those now. Actually, I'll probably cut these out first, then I can get rid of all that film and actually see what I'm doing. going better than I thought. All the clip channels are done, they clip in nice, they clip out nice. Now I'm going to make sure all the switch panels and everything fits in there before I start upholstering it. This fits surprisingly well. Everything's lining up as it should. So, I'm just a bit surprised. Does not usually go that well. Kids are having fun in the pool next door. All the screw holes line up perfect. I'm really happy with that. Got nothing else to say. Well, there you have it. A wonky old rotten door card. And a brand new one. Built to last. Now, I suppose, we can get on with... we can get on with recreating this. Challenge accepted. Gotta be really delicate with this. Not this stuff, this stuff here. It looks like they created the shape by only gluing it down on these spots and almost with possibly some kind of patterned press. So that's gonna be a challenge. Might have to use our brains for that one. Thank you. 
I've got now is a nice closed cell phone, four mil thick. It's just going to give you that extra cushion that it's supposed to have. Generous amount of wax and grease remover. Just putting a bit of rust converter on here. Got some contact adhesive here, heat and water resistant, and completely cover both surfaces and leave separate for 20 minutes and slam them together. Just using a razor here, uh, be careful with it, actually make sure you ask your mum before, I don't care how old you are, like call your mum, it's probably been a while hasn't it, just call your mum and ask her mum can I use the sharp thing, she'll probably still say no. This glue is bloody strong. Once that makes contact, I mean it's called contact adhesive for a reason, isn't it? So once that makes contact, you just gotta work with what you got. This turned out pretty good, I'd say. I'll tie up some loose ends on that once it's dried a bit more, but a bit of extra padding in there. So a bit of extra squish. I like that. All right, on to the next step. Oh yeah, uh, contact adhesive on a paintbrush. Try washing it in turps. Otherwise, it's going in the bin. Quick grip, bloody good stuff. Um, in hindsight, I should have got the spray adhesive. Uh, 
same brand, just the spray version of this. Uh, if you're doing a, quite a big job, because especially in 40 degree heat, by the time you get it on there, it's, um, well, it grips quickly. So. You gotta know where you're tacking it. Because the moment it makes contact, hence the term contact adhesive, it does not come back up easily. Leaving a gap because this is where that chrome trim is going to go and it sinks in a little bit. Also leaving a light gap around the edges and then I'll even put a bit of a chamfer on that to just make fitting easier. I'm putting it, I'm putting it on in separate little pieces because the glue dries so quickly. By the time I'd have sort of that bit done, if I did the whole panel, that would be too dry to, you know, uh, to attack it. So that's on now, that is not coming off. Now the foam backing that went on here before was your open cell stuff and it was only about two mil thick. This is about four mil thick, hence we do need a bit of extra gap around for our shape. That's gonna be very nice. Not worrying about this bit because a speaker pod is going to go up over here. Well, I think that's pretty good. And at that, we will call it a night. Okay, see that? So that when I stick the fabric in, it's got a channel. Make it look more better. Oh no! It's a blow fly. He is now discontinued. Probably a good idea to use a straight edge with this, or else my fabric's gonna come out wonky. Yeah, see, look at that. Remember, ask mum before you use sharp objects. Always ask mum. So having done all that, here's the finished product. You know, the glue has kept that on really well. Uh, I didn't like the valleys I originally cut to get that shape, so I just ran over it with a, another layer of fabric there. And then just connect up all your pieces. Just a bit of uh, chrome bumper trim across there to replace the chrome tubing that was originally there. Um, not sure how I feel about that, might change that in the future, but yeah, it seems to uh, really suit the old colours of the vehicle and this is a very easy door trim to duplicate. You know, cars these days, they're all moulded plastic and everything, but I'm really happy with how that's gone. So that took a couple of days to do, well, you know, a couple of lazy days. Um, now I've got to do the other side. Uh, the back one's I'm pretty happy with those. They've got a couple of small nicks, but nothing like the, the elbow wear in these ones. And I need to find a new door lock surround for that. It shouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. What do you reckon, Rog? Do you like the door trim or do you not really care?
Is it for you? 